What's up everybody? Pumpkin here. So today I have a, a bit of a strange deck. I have an Aridin deck. Uh, not every day you see Aridin and uh, yeah, I, I'd like to go ahead and say this is not my list. Uh, a viewer sent me the deck and said give it a try. Uh, I've been having a lot of success against uh, Syndicate, uh, most likely uh, Dijkstra, uh, and Northern Realms and I was... Uh, I didn't believe him at all. Uh, and then I gave the list a shot and it's actually pretty good. Um, so the idea of the deck is, as you can see at the top, Scorch. Scorch is very good against the current uh, Dijkstra simply because, well, Dijkstra goes very, very tall uh, and you can wipe him out with Scorch. So Scorch, very strong ability. Um, and then the rest of the deck, we, we have a, a few power plays like Spear Tip and Proto Flutter. Uh, and then we got these two big engines, Keltalus and Immorith. Um, because removal is... Um, not as common anymore and typically big removal is hard to come by right nobody's really playing Geralt anymore uh, if you throw Aridin on one of these larger engines they typically stick around or they get moved or they get just like locked or something uh, but usually you win the game by then so uh, I, I will say it is kind of degenerate I suppose um, there are two artifacts in the deck there's a Tainted Ale and a Mastercrafted Spear and you are playing some immune bodies so um so that at the beginning of the round, because um, you are playing Kelly and Kelly doesn't want you to play lots of units. If you're playing lots of units, Keltalus is quite bad. So uh, the idea is you want to play a few uh, few to no units at the beginning and then Keltalus starts to get value. Uh, if Keltalus gets removed, you have Immorith as, as your like, second back uh, game plan. Or you can flip those around. It doesn't really matter. It depends on what game you're playing or the matchup and you can determine uh, which is more important. I'll run through the list super quickly. It's pretty straightforward. Aridin is for Keltalus and Immorith. Squirch is for those big, juicy, tall units that you need to remove. Spear Tape is just a nice, proactive tempo play. Uh, I, I, a lot of the times, I end up playing this in round one because you do need to have last say. Uh, typically, whenever you're playing a heavy removal deck or like a Squirch deck, um, you need last say. So don't be afraid to blow Spear Tip in round one. Same thing goes for Proto Flutter. Uh, Keltalus. Um, he kills the side's lowest unit, whoever has more units. So if you have two units and they have three units, uh, you'll kill their lowest unit. Uh, do note, if you play this on an empty board, Keltalus will just kill himself. So don't do that. Yeah. Um, obviously play it on the melee row. I typically play Aridin on it just because, you know, you want to keep it alive. Uh, Proto Flutter, nice uh, point play. Nagflar increases uh, consistency. Tainted Ale. Uh, good removal, uh, good way to set up Scorch because you're not really playing Detlef as a leader. Goliath, nice way to finish out a round. Um, if you have this in your hand and you're in round one, you can basically just stay within like a nine point reach. And then whenever they pass, you play Goliath. Imworth, uh, similar to Keltalus, this is going to be your stronger engine that you're going to be playing in round three. Uh, do save it for round three, unless of course you somehow lose round one and you are getting blood in round two. Mark de Brock, fantastic card. Uh, good card to line up uh, removal. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, Gale. This is kind of a weird card. You probably have never seen this card before. Uh, it is a vampire. Deploy damage an enemy unit by one boost self by the destroyed unit's base power. So the idea is you want to damage a unit down to one and then play this. With cards like Merc de Brock, uh, Tainted Ale, Mastercrafted Spear, uh, some of these other damage cards down here. Uh, it's typically pretty easy. Don't get too greedy with this card. Uh, for instance, if you hit a four right? That's at one strength. You're going to be getting the one damage, the four point body plus four boost on this. So you're going to be looking at nine for seven and nine for seven. Yeah, it's not incredible. It's not out of this world, but it's not bad. Um, so don't, don't get too greedy. Let's say they play an Ithlin. That's a good uh, target, but like, let's say they play like a nine, uh, unless yeah, just, it's not worth it because once it starts getting lower, your opponent might potentially realize that you're playing for this uh they might consume it and then you might just get a five out of this so don't don't get too greedy with it uh mastercrafted spear once again uh good to set up removal and scorch parasite good removal alpha werewolf good immunity uh it's a nice proactive play in a round so that it doesn't get targeted predatory dive so this is where we walk into kind of a, a like a gray area um you can play whatever you want here uh, the original list that he sent me had two predatory dives and uh, two Feast of Bloods. I'm not really a fan of Feast of Blood. Um, he said, yeah, you can Feast of Blood uh, the Kira buffs because it'll um, purify them and then give it bleeding. But 
I'd rather just scorch it because all those units are going to line up anyways. So um, I'm personally not a fan of Feast of Blood. You can play it if you want. Um, but yeah, I decided to add two Hideous Feasts into the list. Uh, if you don't like this card, you can play two Dives, two Wins. It's really up to you. Um, typically, one Dive is good enough. Two, usually you're going to end up like diving like a two Hideous Feast. Um, the only awkward scenario of this card is if you have zero units on the board and you're just pinging for three. Um, if you find that happening a lot, you can drop it for a dive and a Northern Win. Northern Win, it's good against Syndicate, good against uh, Nor North Guard with Roach, uh, and it's just good removal. Wild Hunt Hound, pretty good card. Uh, it's typically a six for five. Now that I say that out loud, that actually sounds pretty bad. But it's removal, and you want removal in a deck that plays damage. Uh, now that I think about it, I feel like this card should have gotten buff to four provisions. Oh, well. Uh, Werewolf, immune card, immunity is good. Uh, Plumart, very good card. Uh, it's typically going to be a six for four. Every now and then you'll get one for eight for four, which is really good. Uh, Brusha, Bruxa, I have no idea how to pronounce this card. Um, it's good damage. Uh, you don't have to get the uh, Thrive proc on it. If you do, it's just extra. Uh, but typically, you'll just use this to line something up. Yeah, it's a fine card. Um, yeah, so game plan. Gotta win round one. Very, very important. Um, once again, because you are playing this card right here, uh, you do have a little bit more consistency than normal. So uh, if you have something like Ale and Scorch in your hand, consider like mulliganing the Ale away and like try to get it by round three. Uh, if you don't, you can always tutor it out. Um, yeah, win round one. Don't be afraid to play Proto, Goliath, Spear Tip in round one. They're, that's what they're there for. Uh, basically, the only cards you don't want to be playing in round one are going to be Tainted Ale, Spear, and Scorch. Uh, and then, obviously, the uh, the two big engines. But once again, if you really need one of those engines to win the round, go ahead and play it. It's not the end of the world. Uh, because typically, one gets removed, uh, and then hopefully the other one lives. So, uh, yeah. It's a fun deck. It's an interesting take on monsters. Um, it is pretty good against this current meta, because the meta is pretty tall with Dijkstra and Full Test. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Look at Benji. Look how peaceful and happy he is. <laughs> oh, it purifies. Yes, you are correct, but I don't think I have vampires. Oh, I guess I do have vampires. This is a vampire. Oh, and that's a vampire. Oh, maybe. Whoa, the game's lagging a lot. We could play Crimson Curse. You guys want to play Crimson Curse? Hmm. We can try to make a Crimson Curse deck and tank a bunch of MMR. That'll be fun. Can I just do this? We want to win the round, right? You had a CC deck, but you didn't want them? What well, I didn't, but now I do. Times have changed. Why do I feel like the correct place I am with? You Kelly round three, Emlerth in round one. Problem is I can't give it immunity. Banishing this is pretty bad. Whatever. Actually, not bad. Huh. They're hitting a four in nine for seven. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. I 
I mean, it's working so far. <laughs> I mean, we just have to draw Kelly and Scorch and we win. That's good. Kelly. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. You can push him? Yeah, but why? He gets commanders out. If he doesn't get commanders out, he can't win, right? Scorch is 50-50. We need to hit some golds. Oh, <gasps> Pog, hideous feast. I don't... No. No. That's a gold. It's guaranteed. Scorka. I like to keep it in the deck, though, because if I don't need it, I don't pull it. If I need it, I pull it. Right, I like the flex. You either get a 10 or you get a Scorch. So if the situation arises that I can use it, I'll play it. Otherwise, I will not. Alright, so here's the degeneracy where we just don't play units. Or two turns. Scorch with Spear Tip. Well, the idea is you blow the big boys in round one, I think. What can I do for you? So the only way to play monsters is to play a degenerate no unit deck? It's not really no unit. I mean, it's okay. There's like... Yeah, I... Okay, the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because, like, what else are you going to play? And now yeah, the answer is yes. Ah, oh, shit! Where's my super duper card? Where's my super pog hideous piece of blood? Whatever it's called. Um, I need to get rid of this. Do we though? We can just scorch it. Next turn. You can scorch. Yeah. Not really though. I mean, he can hit this if he flips Botchling, but then he loses four Vitality ticks. And a boost. He loses five points. He, he could do it, I suppose. That's not really the way to play monsters. Yeah, I mean, you could play Gurney and, like, Point Slam, but that's not that good. XD. I mean, I get to play my favorite card, so this is definitely the best way to play monsters. Lovely smiles. Fancy enough. Take my word, you don't wish to anger me. Oh, it's a different trap. He can uh, Gaunter if he runs Gaunter. Omega lol. Texas, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back, lad. Oh, he's doing it. He done diddly did it. Uh. Okay, so... I want this to kill Lois, so the correct line of play here... I mean, I was gonna say ping this and this card, but I could just not do that. I could just, you know, kill the card. <laughs> I feel like that's a little easier. It's fine. Because it means we get to play Kelly. Uh, Emirith. Our backup plan comes into effect here. Need to start using these. Your 
And to think I doubted this masterpiece of a deck. Absolutely crazy. I forget he doesn't count himself. Uh, whatever, it's fine, it doesn't matter. On God, a duel to a duel, I challenge thee. Why didn't you do that before? Oh, I guess you couldn't. Alright, well, we didn't lose. That's cool. Okay, we need to cut this card. <laughs> yeah, apparently this is supposed to be an easy clap of a win. I haven't seen some of these cards before. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Love to hear him back in the Not that it helps. That is a very large eye, yeah, yeah. All right, I mean, in theory, we never lose this. I've been told that this deck auto wins. And they didn't put a kappa after that statement, so. I mean, I shouldn't bleed him. If we have last save with Scorch, we should just win, right? We're, we need a spear, though. Good order. Oh. 
Hi, Benji. We've all obeyed God's orders to stand on a conscience. Listen. Thank you. That was very kind. You Some good old Phil smile. Some good old Phil. Anonymous, thank you for the three dollars. Okay, fine. What? Can't I just scorch this? Unless he plays renew, he can't make more. Like, am I getting debated? I don't like. I I don't know. Whatever. I, I mean, if he has Renew, he got me. <laughs> Have you seen Woodland? No. Well, I guess we won, but my opponent kind of played really weirdly. 